Today I want to talk about a very interesting topic. It's about goals and why I personally don't like telling everyone what I got going on in my life. I'd rather just show it when it is time to see it. And it's basically something I use to protect myself, my visions, and basically have a peace of mind. So the first thing I want to get into is when you try to tell people your goals, your ambitions, and it's far-fetched for some people, um, especially like, uh, you know, if you have, if, you, if, if you're someone like me and you have goals, like, okay, you're doing something that's not the traditional way, for example, right? Um, you are in a field that is like YouTube and you tell your parents, right? I was born in 1998. So you try to tell parents that, oh, I want to be a dancer or you want to be a YouTuber nine times out of 10. They're going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And that can be enough of a reason for someone not to chase their dreams. That simple altercation or that 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 exchange can really cause someone to be like, I don't know. I, I think you're right. You onto something. I probably shouldn't go to something. I could do something a little bit more safer. And then you start running into the direction of, chasing a dream that was given to you instead of chasing a dream that was given to yourself you know what i'm saying so it gives you it doesn't give you that leverage to chase your own desires so that's one of the the, the main things that i i try to not tell everyone what's going on because there's some people that's like oh i'm like okay like I've, i have examples of this people will be like oh you should do tiktok more you should do instagram more because it will get your views up and I'm like, nah, it's not really my thing. I'd rather just focus on YouTube. Everyone, but they're like, okay, everyone's got a YouTube, TikTok, and all that stuff. But you should spread your you spread yourself out more so you can diversify and all that. I'm like, yeah, I, I've done the TikTok. And it, these are good advice, but it's like, it's not something I want to do. i rather, I'm a person that i rather put all my energy into one thing so it can grow really fast. And then when I'm done uh, putting my energy into that one thing, I'll shift into something else and then that will grow. And this one will keep trickling up because it's grown so much to the point where I don't even have to focus on that thing anymore. I can focus on this this social media platform now. I can social, uh, focus on that one. And I, I rather focus on something that's going to give me more of a reward of my for the investment of time. And I feel like YouTube is the best um, way to convert that. I feel like TikTok and Instagram isn't the platform for me to thrive uh, financially and, you know what I'm saying, as a, as a brand, you know, it, it, that's just me. But going back to like the, the point of the video, which is people will try to give you advice, but it may not align with what you got going on. And that sometimes if you're not that, um, if you're, if you're, if you're, how, what am I looking for? If you're not the kind of person that wants to hear that or if you're not resilient enough to stay in your own like trajectory it'll affect uh how your brand comes out sometimes these are good advice and i'm not knocking that is great advice but i that's nothing that's something i don't want to do and that is okay you know what i'm saying i could take i could take full responsibility of what happens if i don't decide to take that advice you know what i'm saying and another thing is um, usually this advice will come from people that are not in my field of work. Like they're not content creators and they're just trying to like look out, which is fine. But me personally, no shade. I, I, I'd rather take advice from somebody that's in a position that I want to be in. You know what I'm saying? So number two, you have, when you, when you tell your goals to everyone, like you put unnecessary pressure on yourself and expectations on people that they want from you. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you tell people, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in this. Say if you're in a new program, right? Oh, yeah, I'm in this new uh, program where like in six, seven months, I'm going to get this and that and a third. And say halfway down while you're in the program, life hits you and your friend that you told about the program hits you up like, yo, what's good with that program, bro? You know what I'm saying? And you just have a change of heart or life hits you smack dead in the face. And, and he's like, and you feel bad because you, 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 you kind of don't want to let your friend down. Like, yo, man, I can't, I'm not in the program no more. I'm doing something else right now. And then you just, you just look, you know what I'm saying? Like part of that, you kind of let your friend down in a sense. And 
and you kind of feel it too. You gotta you gotta stomach that feeling of damn. Like I just I hyped it up so much that I was gonna do this and that like four or five months ago, and he asked me about it now. He or she asked me about it now, and I'm not doing it no more. Or um, you know what I'm saying? I just never started. That's another thing too. Like I get a lot of people that that see what I'm doing and they 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 want to do what I'm doing. They like oh. I see you doing the YouTube thing, bro. That's fire, bro. I'm about to start my YouTube channel. Uh, like tomorrow, I'll get my camera, all that. Doo -doo -doo boom, boom, boom. Six months later, where's the YouTube channel? That's me. You telling me your goals, and now I'm asking you, bro, what's up with that YouTube channel, bro? Not, I'm not coming out of a space of of trying to be like an ass or something. It's just me asking because I'm genuinely concerned because you brought it up. Especially if you're someone who's persistent on bringing up this thing every time I come around you and you're like, yeah, I'm going to start my YouTube, do, 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 and we never, I don't even know why people like to do that. They just because, just because I, I, I'm a YouTuber or whatever, people like to talk about it and it's, it's usually, I usually like to stay away from that topic because it, 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 it a lot of people stay, oh, I want to do this. I'm like, people make it seem like it's very easy and it's not, it is not easy. It, it took me 11 years to get to where I am now. And there's people who's grown faster than me, way faster than me. And but I do not compare myself because we have different goals and we have different upbringings. We started different, different body, different face, different content, everything different, different human in general. So it cannot be compared, right? And these people be telling me what they want to do with their YouTube and Instagram and and, and all that. Uh, I have it. I even had a guy who hit me up from out of nowhere, say, "Yo, I'm gonna set up a phone call so you can talk to my man's about." Um, him starting on YouTube and how much money you can make with it and I, I did it only because I already knew they wasn't gonna do it like a lot of people get hyped up and then they hear about the amount of work that you have to do and they get repelled by it and that's why I'm like you set this expectation and tell somebody oh yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna start something little do you know the amount of effort you 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 gotta put in to even start and then you got to maintain that effort. And then when your friend come around and they ask you about it, you got to let him down, her down, and you got to let yourself down too because they 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 may be very excited for you to hear to hear that you're starting something new. But then, especially if it's something that they like to do too, like if they're in the industry or something or if it's a hobby that they're getting into that they that they do and you tell them, "Oh yeah, nah, man. I'm, I went back to doing that other thing." That's like a, that's like a blow. You know what I'm saying? It's a blow to yourself, especially because that's what really matters. Like if it's gonna hurt you uh, 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 and make you feel stunned, and you're gonna feel that. You know what I'm saying? So that's another reason why I don't like telling my goals to everyone because there's moments. So I'm flippy floppy. Like I'm very. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very impulsive, right? I do things based on whatever I'm feeling at that particular moment. That's that's this video right now. I said, let me just do this video. Spread out the shower. I just cut my hair. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I was like, oh, I got to do this video. I'm very impulsive. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, if I'm really committed to something, that means, like, it's, 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 it's important to me. Right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm very, like, I like this. I like that. Boom, 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 boom. That's why I never, like, vocalize what I'm doing. Like, one minute, I might feel like making a beat. Ten minutes later, I'm like, I don't want to make that beat that morning. Ah, nah, I'm good. I'd rather do this instead. Like, I'm everywhere. And I realized telling my telling my goals to everybody was, was hurting me because I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I just hated, hated switching up on that idea. And everybody knew about it. That's, that's like saying, oh, I'm going to drop my album tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes around. I got nothing to show for it. And then I push it back. I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to drop it on Saturday or, or, or on, on, on April 1st or whatever. April 1st come around, push it back again. It just never drops. It's an un, it's an unreleased drop. No cap. It's just forever pending. Forever pending, right? Pending idea, right? So another thing that I want to talk about is surprise people when it releases, right? It's so much better to just... Sh Drop a release date when you're actually done with the given project or whatever it is that you're doing, right? Don't speak on something unless it is finished already or close to done. Like if you're in the making of doing it, speak on it. But if you're not doing it already, 
I'd rather not speak on it. I mean, you could have casual conversation like, yeah, it would be dope if I did something like this. Like, that's okay for me. I'm not telling you how to live your life. Cause this is just how I go about mine. Like, if I meet somebody for the first time, I'll be like, yeah, I do so-and-so. Yeah, I do YouTube. I make videos here and there. But I'm not going to tell them the specific video that I'm making. Because some of them, if they're in the same field as me, they could outright, oh, that's a fire video idea. I should do that. Next day, they drop the same video you just told them about. That's that evil eye, right? They could use that as information. It's another reason why you shouldn't tell people your goals. They'd be like, oh, word, that's hard. I never thought of it like that. They rephrase it, repackage it, boom, that's your video in their way. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's the timing of which that video was produced. Like, say, boom, I make a video, how to get sturdy with... Uh, uh, asking random people to get sturdy like that series right there I didn't tell people about that video until it was finished recording and editing so people had no time to reproduce the effort until it was actually like done like you have to walk around asking people to get sturdy and go outside all right that idea I sat on it for months I was like yeah I only told like two or three people that because I know they they like my boys like, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm probably, I, I always hit them with that. I'll probably do like a video like that. I never was like, I'm certainly going to do that. Because once I did that, it was like stress. That is immediate stress that you put on yourself. Now you got to do this and do that. I said, I probably did it. And then five, six months later, towards the end of last year, I said, let me just try this video. I've been sitting on it and I have a whole slew of notes, scroll timelines, straight ideas, Right of me just brainstorming and nobody knows any of this only me and probably like my girlfriend right <laughs> not even my girlfriend knows that i have a list of ideas like this but um that's just the magnitude of how like the privacy of of of, of my goals and how i protect them so that they're not butchered before they even get the time to even get the fresh air of me trying to to produce the goals like trying to get to that goal you know what i'm saying and it was there was one more thing I wanted to say. The evil eye, man. A lot of people don't understand that once you tell people about your goals, they will literally some people that you call friends or your or people you've just met, they will prey on you not getting to that goal. They will secretly hate you. There's people in your life that you think are your friends right now. They only support you when they see you doing something stupid lit. Like if they see a clip going around everywhere or you getting congratulations from unknown people on a massive scale and they see that you're doing real good for your life, they will come around and and, and big you up when they had a, a, a whole slew of opportunity to big you up while you was trying to get to it, right? That is, is another form of like, okay, I'm watching you. I, I secretly don't want you to win but if you do win, I'm going to hate myself inside a little bit. And and I'm going to congratulate you, though, because that could have been me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you doing what I wanted to do. But meanwhile, this, this person could have done what you done. We could have did it together. But you over there steady hating and watching me do what I do. But we both had a similar vision. You could have, We could have been chopping up ideas together. You know what I'm saying? So... It just gotta be very careful who you tell your goals to. There's there's good I, I like good aspects to it, but overall, I really don't I really don't find that it makes sense for me to tell people about my goals unless I'm I'm actively doing them. Like, say if I'm going to the gym and I want to lose weight or I want to get swole, right? <laughs> That's a big one. A lot of people do this one, right? They be like, yeah, New Year's I'm gonna go crazy. Five five days after New Year's. They went to the gym five times, and then after that, done. Habit gone, right? <laughs> you got to make sure it's a thing that is set in stone. I want to see gains before I even tell people, yeah, I'm going to start going to the gym. Or oh, I've been, oh, I want to I wanna be able to tell people, yeah, I've been in the gym for a little bit, like two, three months now. That's, that hit different because you in there already. And they're like, oh, word, what's it when? It's like, what? You know what I mean? Like, instead of. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of going to the gym tomorrow. Oh, I'm thinking of going to the gym next month. I'm trying to get a summer body. And then next month come around. Oh, I'm waiting for that gym post. I'm waiting for, like, you're still eating the same, still doing this the same, still doing that the same. You know what I'm saying? So, it just, 
it just makes you look a little, a little, a little like you gotta be a man of your, a man of your word, a woman of your word, right? So that's the video today, man. Let me know how you feel about telling people your goals and how how it made you feel. Like, have you ever told somebody your goals and and they kind of like low key hated on it and was like they wanted you not to win? I've had I've had some instances like that where they tell me to be more realistic about my goals, especially with the route that I'm doing now. I was like, ah, I don't want to be a professional dancer. I'd rather do this YouTube and, and teach people how to dance. Um, and, and it's worked out for me pretty well. So with that being said, that's my my take on that. Let me know in the comment section. Um, what, let me know if you want another video. Send me some video topics. I have a few ideas here. But um, yeah, I love you guys. So much. to be on the head. No.